Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Dollar Channel. Got 2016 Chevrolet. It's got the big 5.3 money lights on it. Apparently, it's been at several other shops, and nobody can fix this EVAP problem. They tell them there's not a leak, and there's nothing they can do. His inspection's out by a few months, and he wants to know if we can uh, help him out. Well, let her scan here, see what it has. We can guess just as good as the next guy, so let's see just one code. But I did see a uh, little scan tool in there, so I'm assuming it's at the old cold clearing routine. EVAP system small leak detected. All right, not a problem, right? Should have a small leak. Let's go in here. Uh, let's just have a look at some preliminary things. First of all, let's look at some live data. You want EVAP? Where is it? Can I read it? Okay, there we go. Back for emissions. All right, it's venting. We want to see our fuel tank pressure. All right, 1.5, so that's right on the money. Let's um, fire it up here and see if we, if we just have a purge stuck open. Just for the heck of it, we expect to see no change in the uh, fuel tank there. Leaking. I think we've shown in other videos on that. We would have seen it right away. Um, of course, he's usually set a different code for that, but it's always a quick, quick and dirty uh, check here. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure we have control of the vent valve. And we want to do the vent valve. Let's see if we can hear it. Okay, power more. I thought I'd turn the switch back on. Let me make sure. Well, let me double check. Hang on, stand by. Guess what? I didn't have the key on. Let's try this again. This is pretty loud. We can hear it clunking away back there, so that's good. I do want to do one thing. Let's go to not many. Let's just go ahead and start it. relatively quickly but I guess quick enough we can see put the purge back on it again seal the system off and we do have a fair amount of decay so we shut it off go key back on of course we're back to atmospheric pressure so uh, we know the purge works. We know the cancer vent valve works. Let's get out the Evoca Smoka and uh, see what we can do here and see if we can see a leak. See what the smoke machine indicates. Well, let's see here. I'm going to need to get a little adapter. Show you this one here. I unhooked the line right off the purge valve because there is no, no, no spout to hook onto, no trigger valve rather. So we'll click that in there. I'll hook up the Evoca smoker. I'll get a hose to turn that baby on. All right, she's gurgling away over there. We got smoke. Stick it on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna steal off the system. So it's not venting. So now it's sealed off. Our fuel tank pressure should start increasing. And it is. Just for poop and laughter here, 
Uh, wow, well, it's got to shut off. Now we'll let her get filled up. There's a flow gauge on the smoke machine. If it's flowing air through the system, we're going to see it. I'm assuming it is because the the decay rate under vacuum was, I think, a little higher than it should have been. Um, one thing I didn't look to see is how much fuel was in it. Oh, remaining fuel, 4.23 gallons, so the tank's almost empty. Gonna take a little while to fill that little guy up. We'll give her some time, we'll see what happens. Here's the flow gauge. What we expect here, I'll kink off the hose. So as it quits flowing, you know, the flow gauge goes down. You know, if it has a small leak, we're probably gonna see it around this area down here, but we'll let her sit here and fill up the system and see what we see. Now I have seen in some rare cases, very rare cases, where a system will hold pressure, but it won't hold vacuum. And that can be a little trickier uh, to diagnose. So we'll see what happens. So one thing I did while I'm waiting, uh, I logged in, put the VIN into uh, GM Cal ID to see if there's any programming updates that pertain uh, to this code, uh, but there's not. So we're good in that regards. Yeah, I'm thinking we must have a pretty good size leak. That hasn't come down yet. I'm gonna give her a few more minutes. And I'll start getting the lift under it. Not only can I smell it, I can hear it. It's gurgling up there. <laughs> I took a little bit of soapy water, as they say. Cause I could hear it hissing back here on top of the tank. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not, but probably not. But she's uh, blowing some pretty good bubbles up there on top of the sending unit. So super, super common here in the PRNY. This is one of the plastic ones. So the metal sending units that GM makes, they ride out and the plastic ones well, they ride out. <laughs> what happens is the uh, metal lock ring that holds the uh, fuel pump into the tank, it uh, gets rusty and then cracks the top of the plastic. But she's a 16, so she ain't got long for the world anyways. Really not much more to see here, folks. Uh, I was hoping there's going to be something exciting being that it's been at multiple shops and been smoked at every one of these shops, according to the customer and he keeps getting the report back that there's no leak. Uh, not only was there a leak, it was a really big leak, so it was easy to find, uh, which is great, but I was hoping that was gonna be something else, so I can't make the videos up. They are what they are. This one needs a new fuel pump assembly and a new lock ring. It didn't look too terrible. It looks like we'll probably be able to reuse the tank. Sometimes on these, the little tabs rust off the tank, and then you're screwed. Now you gotta buy a new tank. They make some repair kits, but I don't know about those. So that's it. The only thing I do know about is you need to go in that comment section. Questions, comments, Insta, Facebook. You guys want to do. It doesn't matter, viewers. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.